Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be combining two things that I love dearly, and that is fashion, but fashion that is stylish and comfortable. So as a mom of eight kids, I want to look pulled together, feel pulled together. I don't wanna feel like a hot mess all the time, but I also cannot be tugging at things, pulling on things, wearing things that are wildly uncomfortable. Um, I want to be comfortable. I wanna be able to go from sitting on the couch with my kids to hopping in the car to run to the store. I want things to be versatile, you know? I want them to be fashionable but comfortable too. So today I'm gonna to share with you guys some of my staple go-to outfits for fall that I I think meet both of those things and sometimes in a surprising way I would say as well so a couple of things that I want to say before we jump into the looks is that number one I think that part of the reason I love these looks in particular so much is because you can put them together on any budget so you can use high-end pieces or designer pieces if that's in your budget um, or you can use pieces that you find more affordably at Old Navy Target Walmart um, if that's your budget so I feel like these I, outfits are really more like ideal Ideas of how to put these different things together and the actual pieces you use doesn't matter as much so I am going to be linking of course everything that I can from what I'm wearing and showing you in these looks today but then I'm also going to link for you you know sort of high-end and low-end alternatives as well um, so that you kind of have a full picture of different things that you can use to pull together these looks so, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys some of the key pieces some of the elements that I think that you need um, to pull together these looks I'm just going to try to go through them pretty quickly and and tell you sort of why I think each one is a key staple uh, to creating these different looks and then we're gonna have a little dress-up party and I'm gonna show you guys all the different ways that I mix and match these pieces to create looks that feel stylish but also very comfortable without further ado let's get in and I will share with you guys some of my favorite go-to outfits for fall if you've been around here for any amount of time, then you probably already know my love for a good, simple, white, button-down shirt. So I feel like this is arguably one of the most versatile pieces in any wardrobe. There are so many different ways to wear it, but I love this particular one from Chico's because it is long tunic length, um, and it works really, really well underneath things um, for that purpose. This is just a great piece to have in your wardrobe, and there's so many different ways that you can style this. All right, let's talk cardigans. So cardigans are obviously very popular. This year, I know that a lot of like shorter crop length cardigans are really in. So I'll show you, I have one that is not really a crop length, but it is a little shorter. So I'll show you how I style that, but also the really long, long line cardigans. And the reason that I like these is because they make you look taller. If you style this correctly, this will make you look like long and lean. So I really love a good, long length cardigan. As far as coats go, I highly recommend a, this is a faux leather um, jacket, but I love a good faux leather black jacket. I feel like this again can make something look really edgy and this right here, this is one little piece and one other jacket I'm gonna show you, can take something as simple as honestly like sweatpants, leggings and a sweatshirt and completely make it look like you tried and make it look like fashion. <laughs> Take a sweatshirt, but make it fashion. That's exactly what a jacket like this will do for the outfit that you have created. Um, there is another type of jacket that I think is also a staple as well. All right, so speaking of coats, the other type of coat that I highly recommend adding to your wardrobe is a good trench coat. This is another one of those pieces that yes, you can spend a lot of money on a very fancy trench coat, but you can also find them very affordably. This one is from H&M. Um, is a great alternative if you don't want to spend a fortune on a trench coat although again this is another piece that I do think that if you chose to invest in you wouldn't regret because a simple beige tan whatever your right shade of this is um, that will never go out of style so making an investment in a piece like a trench coat is a great investment all right the next piece that we're going to use to pull together all these different looks is Spanx leggings. Now I have really moved towards removing traditional leggings from my wardrobe. I'm trying really hard to stick more with jeans or other types of pants um, and trying to kind of move away from leggings. It's just my personal style. I prefer to do that. However, these faux leather leggings um, from Spanx, I find that I can easily dress these up 
or dress these down and make them look cute while also obviously being insanely comfortable because they're Spanx leggings so they just hold you in and it, it they sort of like melt to your body and kind of just feel like they become part of you throughout the day. So I really th find those to be very, very comfortable but I also find them to be the type of legging that I feel like I can dress up or dress down and make it still look stylish, you know? All right, the next thing you're gonna need in your fall wardrobe are some hats. I highly recommend a good baseball cap, whatever I got paint on mine, which I'll get that taken care of. Also, not a Dodgers, is this Dodgers, I think? I am not uh, somebody who cares about the sportsing team, I just really liked this cobalt blue. So whatever kind of baseball cap you like. I'm gonna show you guys how I take something simple like a baseball cap if I don't wanna wash my hair or deal with my hair and pull together an outfit out of it that still looks good. And then also uh, just some kind of like floppy hat, a fedora hat. These I feel like are very specific to you because honestly, everybody's head shape is different and so certain types of hats look better on certain head shapes and head sizes and all of that so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that you have to have a rancher style hat or a fedora or a floppy hat or just whatever type of fallish hat looks good on your head shape all of that I have one of those big rancher hats and I see people wear them and I think they are so cute I feel like a ding-dong I feel like a cartoon cowboy when I wear those hats like I just I have to find the right one. I love an actual cowboy hat, but the rancher hats with the really wide brim, I might try it on for you guys at the end of this video and show you, but I feel like a cartoon cowboy. So anyways, now as far as shoes go to create these looks, we're gonna do some kind of comfortable sneaker, type shoe, so I've got some white slip-ons from Vans here as well as my just Adidas tennis shoes. So something like this uh, is gonna be part of the element of some of these different outfits. Whatever you got in the tennis shoe arena, I do recommend like white or black, but if you ended up going with a totally different color scheme for your outfits, then go with what would work with your outfits. We are also gonna have the combat boots, okay? I know that not everybody loves these. In fact, I have never really liked them until this year. I got this pair and I fell in love with them and I've worn them so much. I found so many different ways to style these and I like that I can take an outfit that feels more like preppy and conservative on top and put these on with it and then it gives it just kind of this edge and makes it feel a little bit different. So I have a few different types of combat boots, a few different colors. Um, I think that there's really cute ways to wear them with dresses in the spring even and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see. I know that combat boots aren't for everybody so of course you could always replace this with any type of like slip-on boot, a Chelsea boot, something like that if you are not a combat boot type person. And also, you might think you're not a combat boot person until you get them and try them on, and then you end up loving them. So that's what happened to me. All right, so those are the main elements that we're gonna use to create these different looks today. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I would take all of those different pieces, mix and match them, style it up, and make some really casual outfits, a little bit more dressy outfits, all in the name of still feeling fashionable, but comfortable at the same time. All right, so this first outfit, you guys, this is the Spanx leggings. I'm telling you, this is so comfortable. Toss it on with a pair of just white tennis shoes, and I've got on the Chico's white button-up underneath, and then just really, any sweater over the top. I mean, you can really just mix and match any pieces. Again, this is why I really like this particular button up because it is long enough. Um, and really, it's all about like little elements like rolling up your sleeves and adding jewelry can really make it look a little more stepped up. Um, and here we are gonna get into the, the trench coat business. You can just take something simple like a sweatshirt and I've still got on leggings, I've still got on tennis shoes, add a trench coat and a sort of nice looking purse and you've made yourself look like you tried hard to pull yourself together for the day and it's just such a comfortable, easy to wear outfit and I honestly feel like I'm wearing my pajamas when I wear this. Like it just feels like I'm going out in my PJs. Now this denim jacket is by far my favorite denim jacket I've ever owned. In fact, I lost one at my grandmother's funeral and I actually bought another one because that's how much I love it. Um, I will link it. It's from Abel. Uh, but again, it's just taking like sort of a crop sweatshirt, throwing it on with some black denim. I've switched to black denim and these kind of have like rips in the knees. Baseball cap to cover up the greasy hair and some tennis shoes and you're good to go. And it makes it just again, like it's comfortable, but it looks 
a little more pulled together. And I think it's really the element of having multiple pieces, sweatshirt, jacket, hat. It just looks like you tried harder than you did. All right, we're going back to the trench coat, but I've still got the jeans on, white tennis shoes, and then just any kind of like graphic t-shirt. Uh, really anything will do under there. Plain, you don't even have to wear a graphic t-shirt. It's amazing how an element like a trench coat can just sort of elevate your whole look without really doing anything other than throwing on the coat. And again, I've still got my hat on. Um, you could totally do like a floppy hat or something different here. Take the hat off and toss the nice looking purse on and you've got an even more pulled together look. All right, so now we're moving on to combat boots, you guys. I was always so scared to wear these, but I absolutely love them. So same jeans, just a white shirt underneath, and now I've got the long line cardigan on. And it's kind of hard to tell um, with this setup, but I promise you these long cardigans really do make you look so much taller. And I like that it adds this really feminine element to something that feels a little bit more masculine, like combat boots. Like I like the juxtaposition of those things together. And then the the other thing I really enjoy doing lately is if I'm gonna wear a lot of black and dark colors is adding something warm. So adding a purse that is in just one of these like warm brown, like cognac brown shades, and it really just helps to kind of balance the outfit. And this is one of my favorite sweaters. I absolutely love this sweater. It's kind of got like a boat neck, but I really enjoy doing the monochrome look. So all black head to toe or all white or all blue head to toe. I do think that it kind of automatically makes you look a little bit more pulled together. It kind of has a chicness to it, so I really like the monochrome look. Then you can totally break it up by adding a warm toned purse, and that kind of keeps you from looking like a blob of one color. All right, and this is one of my favorite looks as well. Something that's a little bit more sort of classy and chic looking on the top. So we've taken sort of more of a cropped cardigan and put that over the white button up. I've kept on those same black denim jeans and then kept my combat boots on. And I think that this has some really interesting balance between the two. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and you could totally put on some flats or something cute like that, but it's another way that I like to wear the combat boots. Now, if you just wanna go more traditional, again, I love this shorter cardigan over the button up. It's really comfortable and I think it just looks really nice and classy, but you can toss that on with some jeans and some flats and you are good to go. And this is one of my favorite looks is mixing different shades of the same color family. So, you know, different shades of brown in the sweater and brown in pants, tan in the shoes and just sort of all in that very warm family and then adding the jean jacket over the top. I love this look. It's so cozy and comfortable. And again, it just sort of checks all the boxes for me in terms of feeling like I feel pulled together and I feel like I look like I tried and put a little effort in, but it's just such a comfortable sort of go-to look for me. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed this. I know I don't do a lot of this type of content, but I thought it would be fun to mix things up. Be sure to let me know if you guys would like to see more of these kind of styling videos. I can mix things up and do them a little differently as well. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, everything that I can, I will link down below in the description box and I will try to link a variety um, of places and price points for the different items if you're interested in picking anything up. But that's it for today's video, y'all. I hope that you enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe. Subscribe if you're not already and uh, I will see y'all again very soon. Bye!